Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, the last video I put up about the case, I unboxed it. Had a guy ask him, you know, how do I plan on cooling that I 910 see Well, it's going to be hard line. The thing is, this is some soft line tubing. I may put this in a bench, more than likely, like a little test bench. I know the, uh, the X299 board comes with a little plate, you know, kind of little makeshift test bench. We can do it, do some testing and push it to its limits and this, that, and the other. But ultimately, it will end up in this tower. It will be hardline to be a custom loop. Uh, most EK stuff, stuff like that. So let me get this out of the way. I want to do a opening this case up video because on the last one, I didn't really open any of it up and look at it. The reason I want to do that is because I still haven't looked at that instruction manual in the, yeah. So we may just have to pull that thing out just to see how to get this thing apart. I'm just kind of curious of the inside. So be right back. All right, so we got all that stuff cleared out of the way. Let's, uh, let's see if we can figure this case out. I really don't know. We're going to start, I guess, taking the thumb screws off, take this one side panel off. Ooh, them are tight. Pliers. Screwdriver. Okay, I'm back. Got tools. Let's see if we can get this dude apart. They're extremely tight for thumb screws. But hey, we got tools. We'll pull these panels off and and let's just see. I get that little door open. Working. I'm kind of curious about it. Glass. That's nice. And magnetic. That's pretty interesting. That's cool. It's got a little set little spot it goes in and it's magnetic to the side. Or it'd be real easy to clean those. And all your wire management. You know, you got your door in here, which that thing's extremely tight as well. Trusty screwdriver. Ooh, really tight. But this little panel just kind of ensures if you can get all your cables behind it, the side of the case will go on. That's pretty much everything everybody else has explained. You got, you know, Velcro straps for your wire management, your three SATA drive, 2.5s. That's pretty nice. All your little cables go in there. Let's see if we can get this thing here apart. Look, one, one star screw's loose. This one's loose as well. So we can get the top off, maybe. That was easy. Nice. Like I said, I think that's metal. It don't sound so metally now. I may be wrong with that. It may just be the way it's built. Removable for air filter. That's a good thing. Um, there's supposed to be a fan header, from what I understand. Did I miss it? Did I miss it? I may have. But there it is. Oh, I'm looking right at it. Here it is. So, one, two, three, four PMW fans. There's like three regular, and then one you plug in here. And I guess that's going to be a pump header. Which will work out great, you know, especially since, you know, water cooling and all. That just slides up. Move wire filter on the front, I'm assuming. Yes, magnets. Love the magnets. And the one thumb screw that locked the door on us that we didn't see before. So. There we go. That wasn't too bad for a dumbass. So, now, does this door stay shut? Yes, it is magnetized, so we do not have to replace that thumb screw. So that will be a nice plus. But I do know this. This case is pretty flimsy. With none of the panels on it. I mean, let me take this glass panel off. I don't want to break it. So how far do we have to come back? All right. Slide it up, I would hope. It's just a little tight, that's all it is. A little extremely tight. There we go. Just don't want to break nothing. But look, I mean, you guys, real review, 
I've seen people throw this case around. So I know that a lot of you guys, they just, they just show you the case. It's a really nice case. Don't get me wrong. But I'm running the tower by Thermal Take, the big 900 huge bulky tower. And I'll show it in another video because I'm going to do some cleaning on it, show you what's all inside of it. But this, I've never seen a tower that loose. Maybe there's some screws or something I can tighten up. But it doesn't look to be. It looks on the inside. And it may be screws. I don't know. I have to dig into it a little more. Because that's that's pretty pretty movable. Let's see. Let's look under right here. And I may be messing up my mic. Then we're pop riveted together. It may just be the nature of the beast, so to say. So we'll we'll go from there. But, you know, your power button here, which is a machine power button from what I understand on the top of the, that's the front, huh? wrong one. On the top is a machine spring-loaded power button. So, it's all nice. But I just wanted to get a look at this case, and it's, it's not as rigid as some of the cases I've dealt with before. I run... I've also got the core, I believe it's called. It's the cube by Thermal Take. It's the biggest one they make. That's dirty it up a little, putting that cover back on back here. But once you get everything in there, I'm sure it gets pretty rigid pretty quick. But it's it's fine. Don't get me wrong. It's just I've never had one that twist and move that much. But then again, it is what it is on this. I've never dealt with Fantex, but. I did like the case design and how it really loves water cooling. Something I am curious about, let me grab this real quick and we'll see. Unbox it real quick too. This is kind of the reservoir I wanted to use because I like the idea of a lot of fluid in a system. So let's just see. Oh yeah, plenty of room for it. I do have an external pump, so we'll be able to put it, you know, down below it or whatever. I think it'll, it'll go good in there. Put all this back in here. And uh, like I said, I just wanted to do a an unboxing of it, or an opening of it, put it that way. Um, I was kind of curious to, uh, you know, what it was going to be like to get it open. And I know you guys were kind of just like, you didn't even open the case. So yeah, now it is. They, I do know it's included in the box. They have a plate for here. You remove the two screws back here. Put the plate on. You can have a mini ITX in the bottom of the case. As well as your full EATX or normal size motherboard at top. So, I think it's going to look out pretty good. We'll, we'll see how it works out. Like I said, I want to do some testing with the um, 10980XC first. On just the board, setting air cooled first. Water cool it. Then I'll probably go a little chill cooling or something like that. See how far we can push the cards and that processor. Intel states uh, in a little release they done in a lab with one of their chips. Now granted, this may be a super bend chip, but they're stating they're getting 5.1 gigahertz across all cores on water. Just water. Nothing super, just a simple AIO. So we'll see. Um, it's hard for me to take that as me and another guy was talking in the last video on the chat and comments below. Uh, I, I don't believe it until I see it with myself and the other people get out. Now granted it's supposed to be, from what I understand, hearsay and this, that and the other, but you all know how that goes. It's supposed to be a better soldered CPU like the old stuff. And we're going to see. I have currently a... Um, and this one is 7800X. It does get warmer if I push it. Uh, and it's even on, it's on an AIO, but it's it's still, it's on water. It's, it still gets pretty warm. I have an X99 system at work, which is, I believe, I got the 960 in that. Don't hold me to that because I don't remember right off the top of my head. It's just a work computer, but it's, it's, it's got some nice stuff in it. It's got 32 gigs of RAM. 
Um, it has a Samsung 960 Pro, 512 gig hard drive in it, NBA, NVMe, and so does this one over here. But, I mean, they're nicer computers. They're not just, you know, you're banging around. But I do a lot of graphics and stuff for work. So I utilize a lot of this stuff. This one has two 1080, GTX 1080s in it. My one at work has a 1070 in it, which is I do a lot of my graphic stuff here and just email it to myself at work or something of that nature. But it's, it's mostly done on this system over here, which will probably stay a work system. I initially wanted to like scavenge a system I'm gonna build a nice work system and just put it over there but i've wanted to do this for years water cooling and just play with the channel you guys i mean i'm just here to have fun i'm gonna build it i'm gonna put two radiators in it the 360 rads one in the front one in the top i mean i ain't even doing rgb fans i'm doing the vardar fans from ek like i said i, I mean yeah from ek like i really i got a really good deal on them and I mean, they're, they're the black and grains match the case. I think they'll go a good, really look really good with the case. So, like I said, I got a really good deal on them. We're gonna we're gonna try it. We'll probably test fit some of the stuff and just play with it as we go along. And I'm fixing to take and just just start playing. I mean, this is what it, I'm doing with this. This is just play. This is my toy. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a lot of money for just a toy, but this this one is my toy. This one is just something I wanted to play with and just see if I could do some hardline tube building. Now, that's probably going to be something that's new because I've never done hardline tubing. I've never, to be honest with you, I've never done anything outside of an AIO. So, any kind of water cooling that's a custom loop, I have never touched. So, like I said, you guys will probably get some laughs. I'm not going to do a whole lot of extreme editing and cutting out some bull crap like I mess up, just like me trying to open this case the other day. I didn't cut it. I left it in the video. Now, it 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 is what it is. I mean, it's going to be me learning, me messing up, and you guys can laugh at me. So, if you guys want a couple of good laughs, I promise you, I can supply them. Um, we're going to put this back together, and uh, we're going to get this out of the way. And I'm going to grab a monitor, and I want to open one of them bad boys up because, to be honest with you, I want to run one of them. I've been All right, guys, we're back. This is the 32-inch uh, LG Ultra Gear. It's a 144 hertz gaming monitor. Um, like I said, these are a little bit bigger monitors than what I have currently here. But, like I said, it would be nice upgrade from the 27s to a 32. And we're just going to see what's in the box. This is the front, so we're going to hope it's the front. Haven't opened a monitor in a very long time. So, we're going to see what's going on with it. Yay, static star phone. I guess that's supposed to come off with it, I'm assuming. Um, maybe I'll lay this on a gamer mat. Just to be safe. I have one handy right here. Give me one second. We'll throw this old gamer mat down and lay the face down on it. Because I don't know how the stand's got to go on it or none of that just yet. Lay it just like that. Pull this next tray out and see what we got. Looks like something heavy and locked. Push these little tabs out. Now this is supposed to be a 144 megahertz. Hertz, excuse me, hertz. 144 hertz gaming monitor. It's supposed to be free sync. And from what I understand, and I may be totally wrong on all this, there's something about free sync and g-sync all that's supposed to be working together now so we're gonna try that out too well we'll see how that goes down and we'll um kind of report back on that i'm not sure on any of that so we'll we'll test that i'm not holding anybody to anything on that anymore 
so yeah, yeah we got styrofoam everywhere we gotta love that so the cleaning lady will love me for this oh wait i'm the cleaning lady <laughs> um we'll get all this unwrapped here and put together and we'll see how easy it is to put together how many tools is required yes i kept the screwdrivers in here we're going to open up the bag of accessories and see what we have with it i see some red accents here wonder if i can uh pull those off i see screws guys i know it's in the back of this but that being red Simple mods like Jay's Two Cents says. Paint mods a lot of things really easy, simple, and cheap. So this is going to be a black and gray build. I think it will look really good. Gray, black. Now, I don't know how much is on the monitor. I haven't looked at it just yet. But we're just going to try to get all this together here in just a second. We're going to wipe this on the floor. Don't do what I do, people. But... Let's see what this monitor carries. We're going to surgically open the bag. And uh, that way we can keep it face down with something protective. I know many people think modding a computer, they don't think modding their monitor, right? Let's see how this works out for us. I see a big red plate right off the bat. But, to be honest with you, that is in the back. Uh-oh, here's your pill porn. See if we can get a hold to it right there. Get it right there. There you go. A little bit of pill porn. Um, but like I said, most people think of modding computers and stuff like that. They think computers, not your monitor. Now this, it shouldn't be too bad. If I really wanted to pull that ring out, looks like it's just these four screws and you got your versa mount, phase mount, whatever you want to call it. And you should be able to get right to it. But we're going to take and just pop this thing together for now. And go with it simple. Get it up. That way we can see it. Ladies. And uh, we'll get it up and see what it looks like and see what accessories come with this monitor. I mean, this is about the easiest monitor I've ever put together, I believe, as far as the stand. It's one screw, and it's actually got a thumb ring on it you can turn with your hand. That's pretty nice. But uh, I'm not a big fan of red. So we're going to we'll pull this down, get it over here out of the way. Let's see what this, oh, that's a lot of real estate right there. I like that already. So I know this is a little longer video. Like I said, I did a case, the case opening as well as, you know, opening the monitor up. But we'll get all this stuff out of the way, make it easy for everything. I'm making it hard for my cleaning person. Oh, me again. Um, let's see what we've got in accessories wise. Looks like we got two separate bags here. I was curious. Now I did order some longer display port cables because I'm gonna run display port of course. But I was wondering if they come with display port cables or HDMI or anything of that nature because I really don't know. We're fixing to find out with you guys right now. The power brick. The, oh, that's the cable management clip for the back. This would be the power cord for the power brick. More foam, or styrofoam. And yes, it comes with a HDMI cable, but I'm gaming with two 1080s on that one. I'll use the display port. So guys, we'll, we'll use this monitor and see how it goes and kind of report back to you. I think it's going to be a nice little monitor, especially with two of them. And something I did want to test, I did see this from another YouTuber. But he said once these will do picture frame, but once 
Yes, you have to tilt it. Well, good thing I don't use picture frame, right? I don't see me ever having to use it or ever wanting to use it. So we'll leave it kind of straight. I don't know how straight that is. I'm not in front of it like you guys are. So and it, it moves fairly easy. I like it. Well, um, it does not have USB pass-through on it. It does have headphone jack, display port, and two HDMI inputs. So we'll spin that around, let you guys see what I'm looking at here, if you can. So as far as, you know, I.O., it's this display, two HDMI's, headphone, and power, which is it's pretty simple. And it's real rigid monitor. It don't look like it would give a whole lot of flex. Oh, it does swivel a little bit. That's about it, but, you know, who needs swivel when you pick up and move, right? So, a little clip. I'm assuming it goes to part of that. I always refer to the manual, right? So, guys, I'm going to cut it at this one. We'll um, test it, see what it looks like. Uh, I don't think there's going to be much report. It's a monitor, and it's supposed to do 144. Uh, Hertz and 1440p. So I'm not a real big fan of the, the big curved widescreen format monitors. I'm not saying I don't like them. I say I'm not a big fan of them. I'd rather have just traditional square rectangle monitors. So it's like we're going to play some WoW. Yeah, do some WoW Classic and see how it looks. But guys, we'll cut it. It's been a little unboxing and a little go through the tower and a little bit more story behind what's going on. But yes, that system is going to be fun. And it's just a toy. So, expensive toy, but it's a toy. See you guys in the next one, and y'all have fun.